what convinces you that now's the time and you're ready? I mean, after, after a lot of thinking, a lot of praying and talking with my family, uh, I just felt like I'm, I'm mentally ready and uh, to make that next jump and pursue my dream and playing in the NBA. Um, this is definitely a tough decision. I mean, especially after coming up short, not reaching our team goal that, that I had wanted. Um, but I just feel like I'm, I'm ready to make that next jump. And I mean, I feel like after talking with them, I'm ready. I feel like you live the fame cycle in the world now. What I mean by that is you, you're this story that explodes on the scene and, and we played a big role in it everywhere you looked on our air. There you were. And then people want to poke holes in that story. And you're, you know, not 20 years old yet. And there's a lot for you to digest. I just wonder, Trey, what was it like to live in the middle of that when you're the guy everyone's talking about, whether it was good or bad? Uh, there was definitely some, some, some good times, but there was also some bad times there uh, as well. And that's something that I had to thank a lot, of, a lot of people around me, my circle, for being there for me through the good and bad times. I feel like the bad times brought my team and uh, my family even closer to me. But I feel like all that I went through this year is only going to make me better and help me mentally moving on to the next chapter. Obviously, family is the best thing any of us can ever have because they're going to be in your corner no matter what. I'm just curious, Trey, the, the, if any advice you might have gotten from guys like LeBron or Steph or the guys that were talking about your, or, or it doesn't have to be superstar level, but if you've heard from guys that are already there about the life you're already living and, and what it will take to get there. I mean, I, I've been blessed enough to, to talk to a lot of guys. Um, one of my favorite guys to talk to is, is Rod Strickland, um, someone who's, who's played my position, right. been, in, been in my role, been in my, my shoes before, and did, did big, big things. And so I, when I get advice from guys like him and Chris Paul, I, I always listen. And CP always told me how this was, this was going to happen. You got to take the good with the bad. Keep looking forward. Um, keep getting better. And uh, keep your circle tight because um, those are the people who are always going to be there for you. All right, Trey, I just want to close with this thought. Adrian was telling me about how when you were a kid and you'd go to NBA games with your pop, you'd, you'd say, we got to go early. You want to get there at 5 o'clock when they open the door so you can watch guys go through their shooting routine. Next year, you're going to be the guy out on the floor going through your shooting routine. And there's going to be some little kid that's going to come in. And w When you look up and you see the kids that are coming to see you now and you're the guy out there on the floor, how do you imagine that moment will, will feel? I feel like the first time I step out on that NBA court, I'm a, I, may, I may have tears. I mean, to be honest with you, just because I remember being that little kid who wanted to be there so early to watch, watch people play and watch the routine. And now knowing that kids are going to be doing that for me and uh, I'm a role model to them is just, it's just something that I never take for granted. And I try to be the best person, best role model I can be for kids growing up and kids that, that want to be like me someday. And hopefully I'm doing that uh, very well.